from uh, Fort Kochi. Once again, still in Kerala, but uh, we decided to come walk around and uh, randomly saw that the island back here, Fort Vipin, had a ferry that we walked by and never tried out. So that's what we're doing, waiting in line to get the ferry, we buy tickets over in this little tiny booth thing here. It's literally three rupees per person, so it's extremely cheap to take the ferry. But uh, yeah, Fort Vipin over here is, um, actually it's right there is uh, apparently the largest port in uh, Kochi or in Kerala down here. And there's some other, the uh, largest fishing port, sorry. And uh, they got some of the famous nets over there we're gonna go check out. We see there's a couple really old looking churches. Um, St. Francis Church is the oldest church in India and that's actually just right back here. But uh, yeah, we're gonna go see what else is over there. We have really no idea what to expect. So you're gonna come and find out with us. Excited? Yeah, really Made it. You can see everybody waiting to head back to Fort Kochi over here in line. No idea really what to do here, so uh, our plan is walk around and figure that out. So we saw some uh, more Chinese fishing nets, the traditional kind of like symbol of Kochi. If you go on Google Images, you'll always see those pop up. It's like these big kind of contraptions that they use to go fishing off the uh, harbor here and as we came in we saw a whole line of them so we're gonna try to get a nice view of those a nice shot classic Kochi shot and uh, we also saw like a church and some other things over here from the other side so old school tourism don't do any research don't look anything up you just see something and you figure out how to go over there so that's what we're doing today one of the coolest things in Kochi is that it's a port and you can see a lot of ships coming in and out like the Coast Guard ship here. Uh, every time we drive from Ernakulam, sort of like on like the mainland to Fort Kochi here which is like a peninsula, we always pass and see a lot of naval ships and uh, most famous is the first indigenous Indian aircraft carrier, the Vikrant, that we can always see when we're driving. Let's see if we can get a good uh, shot of that next time we see it. But yeah, from a port city so it kind of feels like home. So we're gonna walk along this uh, walkway along the shore that we found. Yeah, maybe. So you can see one of the uh, Chinese nets, they call them, right here. It's pretty cool because you can get really right up next to everything. Nobody really stops you from touching things and looking around. But uh, what were we reading? That they uh, have these come out in the morning? Yeah, mostly morning. And they slowly descend the net into the water and then pull it back with ropes mm. and people usually climb, the fishermen will be climbing these poles uh -huh. and it's, it's spectacular to watch Spectacular? Yeah. Well, I'll have so to go and try to see that. Spectacular. Yeah. yeah, so all these big posts here, they climb up and then they lower it down and then they scoop the fish out of the, <clears throat> out of the water that way. These are pretty nice looking, uh, looks very Portuguese in its design, church. 
see a lot of these sorts of uh, churches in Kochi because it's a Portuguese colony for a little over 100 years and then uh, Dutch and then British and now Indian so yeah let's go check it out so these guys unloading stuff from the uh, tuk-tuk mobile back there told us that uh, they should be catching some fish in about an hour so we're gonna hang out here and try to catch a glimpse of the nets in action but uh, in the meantime we're gonna go look at this church we found Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem back there yeah it looks like they got a whole bunch of uh, stations I don't know if these are stations of the cross yeah yeah, yeah yeah I think these are stations of the cross Sorry, I'm a very bad Catholic, but Jesus falls for the third time. The churches are very nice. They're very beautiful, solid looking church. Yeah. Kind of a mixture of local Kochi material and, you know, Western motif. Yeah. So those roofs with a bunch of slates or whatever Portuguese tile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Often combined with teak wood. Very Spanish slash Portuguese Mediterranean roofs, but a lot of local materials. A lot of dark teak wood here. Very yeah, often uh, you also see a bunch of valuable. Uh, Hinduism being carried over to Christianity. So they'll have like, you know, the puja mm -hmm. materials also used for church, like in coconut and stuff. Oh, really? It's, yeah, it's very interesting. We have to really go uh, visit one. Look at the alleys here, down here. It's so, so nice. Kochi seriously has the most character out of any city in India we've been to so far. Oh, we got part of the convent. Is it open? Oh, I think it's a cemetery. Is it? Yeah, it looks like a cemetery. Never seen a cemetery quite like this though. It's very quiet. Yeah, it's very peaceful. And like, I've never seen pots of grass like this. And some open water. Lots of headstones. Yeah, look at this. Actually, you can tell just from the names. They have very Portuguese, very westernized names. Hendrix. Almost Hendrickson. All the dogs are so sweet. <laughs> this dog won't leave Prativo alone. Oh, no, he is. He's getting preoccupied. We just tried to go into the church and they told us that they're cleaning. But you can see people very commonly take their shoes off before they enter buildings here. I'm gonna try to step inside here. Pretty typical Catholic church. Looks very similar to uh, St. Francis Church on the other side of the channel, except no Vasco de Gama grave. So that was pretty nice. It's a nice little church to come check out. Yeah, it's a nice little uh, plaza kind of thing here too. But uh, there's a full-blown Christmas preparation going on, so they're all cleaning the church, and oh. setting up the tree, and all the other stuff that you do. Yeah, that makes sense. We saw them over here unloading some uh, wreaths and things. You can see them still working over there. The uh, St. Francis churches. There's uh, loads of Western tourists, Indian tourists, so it's probably the most touristy area of the whole city. But fortunately, most of the city, though, doesn't get quite as many tourists as, like, Delhi or yeah. those cities. Yeah, everything's much more laid back down here. So we've wandered into a, sort of a residential area, but, um, yeah, we kind of, we quite like it, because there's no one really around. As you can see, there's a big ship, big container ship coming in right now. And it looks like it's going to uh, be raining up here. I always feel like a weatherman when I do this, but... <laughs> the beaches aren't really the best here. I think a lot of people go further south in Kerala 
to go uh, to beaches closer to the capital. Yeah, look at this huge ship coming in. Pretty cool. We're still just waiting around for them to start using these fishing nets and hopefully we'll uh, be able to show that to you guys. But so far this is our favorite place that we've been to in Kochi. We were just talking about before we decided to take the ferry that uh, we missed walking places and this has so far been the most walkable place that we've been to in India. Ship disappearing into the rain, which means we should get going. <laughs> we actually meant to go uh, buy umbrellas a few weeks ago and uh, for some stupid reason we decided not to and bought ponchos instead. <laughs> But uh, the ponchos aren't really helpful when you don't bring them with you. Let's see if we can run back before the uh, really downpour comes in. Okay, now we're running. <laughs> we uh, really did not plan very well. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. So we uh, managed to run back to this church here. And now we're in the, uh, the Hall of Hope. But uh, we got here, of course, right as soon as the rain started to stop. And so we got pretty well drenched. There's the dog still <laughs> attaching himself to people. All right, well, now that the rain's kind of died down, we're gonna try to get back to the ferry and head, uh, head home, because had enough uh, getting drenched and commotion for one day. I think, I think we can buy a ticket here. It's over, maybe over here, over there. And so now we got our tickets and uh, we wait. It's always a little hard to figure out where we're supposed to stand, but uh, I think we're in the right spot. Let's wait for the ferry to come over here. There's one right here, but we're not really sure why that one isn't moving. is a little wet. Couldn't really wipe it off because it's worse than wet, but heading back on the ferry now. Just about uh, back to Port Kochi. So we've been, we're leaving behind. Heading back home to Kochi. in Ernakulum. Uh, it's not raining anymore and we're all dry. So thank you for watching. If you want to see more and follow us on our Tufani Zindagi, like, comment, subscribe, and see where we're going next.